in a twist that's set to ruffle more feathers within the British royal circles. Former England rugby star and royal family member Mike Tyndall has emerged as an unexpected challenger to Prince Harry's literary dominance. The timing couldn't be more pointed. Tyndall's highly anticipated book drops on the exact same day as the paperback release of Harry's controversial memoir, Spare, in what many are viewing as a calculated move to steal the Duke of Sussex's thunder. Industry insiders suggest that pre-order numbers for Tyndall's book are already outpacing those of Harry's paperback dealing yet another blow to the California-based prince's carefully crafted narrative. The former rugby champion, who is married to Princess Anne's daughter Zara Phillips, has managed to do what few royal-adjacent figures have achieved, presenting an authentic, drama-free glimpse into royal life while maintaining family loyalty. Unlike Harry's tell-all approach that left no stone unturned and no family member unscathed, Tyndall's book promises to deliver entertaining anecdotes about his sporting career and royal life without burning bridges. Sources close to the palace suggest that this stark contrast hasn't gone unnoticed by the royal family, who are reportedly delighted by Mike's more measured approach to sharing his story. The timing of Tyndall's release has raised eyebrows in publishing circles, with some suggesting it's a masterful counter-programming move by the palace's unofficial allies. It's brilliant strategy, says royal commentator Richard Fitzgerald. While Harry's book rehashes your old grievances, Mike offers fresh perspectives and positive stories about the institution Harry seems intent on criticizing. Adding salt to Harry's wounds, Tyndall's growing popularity as the royal family's relatable everyman has seen him become a favorite among traditional monarchists and younger audiences alike. His successful podcast appearances and candid interviews have showcased the kind of authentic charm that Harry once embodied before his controversial exit from royal duties. The contrast between the two men's approaches couldn't be more striking. While Harry's spare delved into personal grievances, family feuds, and controversial claims about the monarchy, Tyndall's book promises to focus on his rugby career, his journey into the royal family, and light-hearted behind-the-scenes moments that showcase the Windsor's more human side. Sources close to Harry suggest the Duke is increasingly frustrated by what he perceives as coordinated efforts to undermine his narrative. The success of Tyndall's book would mark another setback in what has been a challenging year for the Sussexes, following several media deals that reportedly haven't met expectations. Publishing industry expert Sarah Henderson notes, what we're seeing is a shift in public appetite. While Harry's initial hardcover release benefited from shock value and controversy, readers are now gravitating toward more positive, entertaining accounts of royal life. Tyndall delivers exactly that, without the heavy emotional baggage. The rivalry extends beyond mere book sales. Tyndall's authentic connection to both the sporting world and royal life has earned him credibility that Harry seems to be losing. His regular appearances on reality TV and sports commentary have kept him in the public eye while maintaining dignified relations with the palace, a balance Harry has struggled to strike. As both books hit the shelves tomorrow, the publishing world watches with bated breath. Will Tyndall's rugby tales and royal insights outsell Harry's paperback? adding another chapter to the prince's ongoing struggles with his former life. One thing's certain, this literary face-off represents more than just book sales, it's become a battle for narrative control within the royal sphere. For Harry, who has staked his post-royal identity on being the family's truth-teller, being overshadowed by someone who manages to share royal stories while maintaining family harmony could prove to be his most bitter pill yet. As one palace insider noted, sometimes the best response to controversy isn't more controversy, it's showing there's another way to tell your story. The success of Tyndall's book could signal a shifting tide in how the public consumes royal narratives, preferring positive insights over provocative revelations. For Prince Harry, watching from his Montecito mansion as his former rugby-playing cousin-in-law potentially outsells him, this could be the clearest sign yet that his strategy of controversy might be reaching its expiration date. Mike Tyndall, the retired rugby legend and husband of Zara Tyndall, Princess Anne's daughter, has always been a beloved figure in the UK. His down-to-earth demeanor and impressive athletic career have earned him a loyal following. His new book, which delves into his storied rugby career and personal life, is already generating significant buzz and pre-orders, much to the chagrin of Prince Harry. On the other hand, Prince Harry's Spare, which was released earlier this year to a mix of controversy and curiosity, is set to hit the shelves in paperback form tomorrow. The memoir, which has been described as a tell-all expose of the royal family, has been a hot topic of conversation since its initial release. However, the anticipation for Tyndall's book seems to be eclipsing the interest in Harry's paperback launch. The contrast between the two books couldn't be starker. 
while Harry's spare is filled with revelations about his tumultuous relationship with the royal family and his struggles with mental health, Tyndall's book promises a more uplifting and inspiring narrative. It chronicles his journey from a young rugby player to a World Cup winner, offering insights into the grit and determination that defined his career. The timing of the releases has added an extra layer of intrigue to the literary showdown. The fact that both books are hitting the shelves on the same day has led to speculation about whether this was a deliberate move by Tyndall's publishers to capitalize on the hype surrounding Harry's memoir. Regardless of the intent, the result is a high-stakes competition that has the literary world a buzz. For Prince Harry, the stakes are particularly high. His memoir has been a source of both praise and criticism, with some hailing it as a brave and honest account of his life, while others have accused him of airing dirty laundry in public. The paperback release was meant to be a triumphant moment, a chance to reach a wider audience and further cement his status as a best-selling author. However, the prospect of being overshadowed by Tyndall's book is a bitter pill to swallow. The contrast in public perception between the two men is also a factor in this literary battle. While Tyndall is seen as a humble and hard-working sportsman, Harry has often been portrayed as a privileged royal who has struggled to find his place in the world. This perception has been exacerbated by his decision to step back from royal duties and move to the United States with his wife, Meghan Markle. The royal family has largely remained silent on the matter, but insiders suggest that there is a sense of unease within the palace. The prospect of a rugby player's memoir outshining a royal's tell-all is not something that sits well with the establishment. However, there is also a sense of relief that the focus is shifting away from the internal dramas of the royal family and onto a more positive and inspiring story. For Tyndall, the success of his book is a testament to his enduring popularity and the respect he commands within the rugby community. His career has been marked by numerous highs and lows, from winning the World Cup with England in 2003 to facing criticism for his off-field antics. However, his ability to bounce back from adversity and maintain a positive outlook has endeared him to fans around the world. The literary showdown between Harry and Tyndall is also a reflection of the changing dynamics within the royal family. As the younger generation of royals seeks to carve out their own paths and break away from tradition, they are increasingly finding themselves in competition with each other. This competition is not just about books, but about influence, relevance, and public perception. In the end, the success of Tyndall's book over Harry's paperback release is a reminder that the public is always hungry for inspiring and uplifting stories. While Harry's memoir may have generated headlines and controversy, it is Tyndall's tale of resilience and triumph that seems to be resonating more deeply with readers. As the two books hit the shelves tomorrow, the literary world will be watching closely to see which one comes out on top. For now, it seems that Mike Tyndall's rugby memoir is the one to beat, leaving Prince Harry in a deep meltdown as he grapples with the prospect of being upstaged by a former sports star. The battle of the books is just beginning, and it promises to be a thrilling and unpredictable ride. Whether you're a fan of royal drama or rugby heroics, there's something for everyone in this literary showdown. So, grab your popcorn and get ready for a royal rumble like no other.